Okay, I did make a video before this, but uh, while I was demonstrating on the FPS increase, I lost a pin, so I had to stop the video. Uh, anyways, I'm going to make this short. Uh, I had a bad seal in there. I flipped it around. You can see it, it is indenting nicely. Uh, you can see it is going right up against there. There is no safety on this at the moment, so I do have to be careful. I took the new seal off thinking I had too much drag on it. I put the old seal back on there, cleaned it up with some uh, thousand grit with some oil, made sure it was a nice, uh, nice and smooth, no nicks, which there was none. Uh, I then took the tube and I pushed down on the piston until I had about two pounds and it was pretty smooth. So at that point I decided to put it all back together. Uh, I was still reading about 630, 640 FPS. Um, so I came up with this conclusion uh, that... Hold on, sorry. I'm going to have to... Uh... <sighs> yeah, I guess this isn't going to be a short video either. But uh, I need to explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Uh, let's see. Okay. This part right here, I was wondering what that actually sat against or if this, all the force was on the seal on the inside. So I was thinking this, there's a lip right in here. All right, this is when I have to take it back down so I can actually demonstrate. So I was trying to figure out where this actually sat. Right here, there's a ridge. It goes all the way around. Uh, this barrel is removable. As you can see, the nut. And I was wondering if maybe the nut backed off. But I, I wasn't sure. But I was thinking it was just a sealing issue. So what I did, that's not the O-ring. Here's the old ring old o-ring it was round but I took an o-ring and I put it over this and I pushed it in there and I decocked it I let all the pressure holding it very tightly and I let that push up against the o-ring and I just cocked it a little bit just to push that on there so as I kept firing this started flattening out and I went from 630 to 640, and this was a consistent. I was up to 690, 700. So my FPS increased almost by 50. So I think I found the Achilles heel of this rifle is it has a sealing issue. Maybe not on all of them, but apparently, because I was doing 720, 715 with 14 grain when I first got this rifle. And uh, eventually I found out the seal was bad and there was a big rip in it. So if anybody has a low FPS, I would suggest maybe have a friend help out. I just don't trust the bear trap. I want everyone to be safe. Uh, engage the bear trap. Make sure it locks. Have a friend hold the gun for you. So there's absolutely no chance that can go off. And... What I have here is just a standard O-ring kit. This is a little undersized, but it's thinner. I just tried a thick one, and it was not making too much of an improvement. Maybe it just because it didn't collapse it enough. But a very thin one. And I just put it... I'm not sticking my finger in there because I don't have the safety or anything. Safety first, please, people. Always. But I put that over there, pushed it on. And now it's sealing up, and now I am getting these kind of readings. So it did boost it up, and it seems to be a sealing issue with this air rifle. So if it's something I can fix, um, 
I'm going to keep going at it and see if I can find a better fit. Um, I talked to the guys at Custom Air Seals and they said they can make me one. I don't know what they're going to charge me and I have to make sure it is durable and I have to get the right size. I did actually <laughs> try to make my own. There we go. So I took the punch, punched it out and I drilled it out. I was trying surgical tubing that was just disintegrating maybe it was too long but I just couldn't find the right material this is actually uh, <laughs> off a of sway bar link this is a uh, polygraphite it's probably maybe a little too hard to use but I was uh, experimenting with my own stuff trying to make a new seal this was the surgical tube but this is kind of old so Maybe that was an issue. Maybe if I get some new surgical seal uh, tubing, that might work. But I was uh, kind of flustered at how soft that seal inside was. I think if I can get something just a little firmer, but not too firm, that will alleviate some of the issue. Because I guarantee I talked to, well, I didn't talk to Hats in USA, but I sent them a message and uh, to see about getting a couple new seals. So if they do send me a new seal, I'll throw it in, see what happens, see how long it lasts. But if anybody has a low FPS, uh, like I just demonstrated, have a friend hold that breech open for you and uh, slide a no ring over there. It's not going to do any damage. It doesn't. It won't go inside anything. You'll be able to remove it if it doesn't work properly. Just have someone else help you. And uh, see if the uh, FPS increased. It took me about 8-10 shots before the FPS started going up. I think just for that O-ring to flatten out and really seal. But uh, it worked for me. And uh, hopefully this helps someone out. And uh, if it does help you out, please comment. And uh, let me know. And uh, I'm going to see if we can find a, a good fix for this. It's a great rifle, it's a great platform, and uh, if this is just an air sealing issue, I think we could uh, fix that, and we're all going to have a 700 plus FPS air rifle, which I really want more. My goal is 720 with 16 grain. I don't know yet. I uh, was going to put this gas ram in. I don't know if I'm going to do it tonight, but now that I see I've got that sealing issue oh and uh i had issues with this spring anyways so my spring is uh not full power so this may increase i don't know yet i also have uh, a custom spring made also specifically for this so i need to try this out also but i'm really interested in see what this gas ram does so maybe i'll test it tonight and uh, make a video tonight or tomorrow about that and see what happens. All right, thank you. Uh, if it helps you out, please leave a message. Uh, I just want to hear about it and see if it's not just me.